Hello guys, welcome to the video of the full of the practical demonstration of the full wave sender tap rectifier. Now, as you can see, the circuit diagram of the rectifier is on your screen, and you can observe that we provide an easy input signal and get a pulsating DC output, which looks something like this. And um, basic idea of what is happening here is that your diode D1 is you know forward biased during the first half positive cycle of the input signal and during the second half of the negative cycle your diode D2 is forward biased which somewhat ends up giving you a pulsating DC signal as you can see on your screen and the materials required are two diodes a transformer a DSO that is a digital storage oscilloscope or a CRO will do for the matter and some connecting wires a breadboard a capacitor preferably of 50 microfarads, zener diode and some resistances preferably of the order of some kilo ohm. Well here's a picture of the actual circuit that I made and as you can compare it um, from the actual circuit that I showed you a few minutes ago and it looks somewhat uh, like this but you can notice that there are some additional components like the C which stands for the capacitor and it acts as a filter circuit because as you must have noticed that we got a pulsating DC output we need to eliminate that to get a constant DC voltage now I will go into detail about that later on now let's just observe the circuit like you can see that I have this D1, D2 the transformer the negative of the transformer and the ground of the transformer and I would suggest that you pause the video and have a cool look at the circuit and by the way the, those allocated clips go to the DSO for observing the output so essentially the complete circuit for a DC power supply is shown in this uh, picture right now in both the pictures that you can see your rectifier provides you with a pulsating DC voltage that you can see in the upper right corner and then we add a filter circuit to you know reduce it into a rip, ripple kind of voltage as you can see in the caption uh, in the inset now before uh, you know uh, using the filter in the circuit let's just observe what we get without a filter in the circuit like the stand diagram of a four way rectifier if we make that and then observe the output on the DSO you can see that we get the expect, ex expected expected pulsating DC voltage as you can see now um, later on we will in this video we will add a filter uh, which would be a capacitor and with combination of a zener diode that you could see in the previous photograph and you can use it so now here here is the output that we are getting after we have you know used the filter circuit in our uh, DC power supply now this is a good DC power supply because it is almost almost constant and the only fluctuation is because of the ripple factor of the um, um, because of the filter circuit now here's another good close look at the circuit which is fairly easy here's the transformer going to the mains and providing the input and this is why you are getting that triple factor as you can see here and for a full wave rectifier though it is very less but it's still there because of the filter circuit well that's it and thanks for watching I hope I will have some help to you at least in the experimental part I know I did not cover the theoretical part in this video because it was just for the practical purposes if you are in an undergraduate course and you have um, to create this um, least power supply and be of some help to you thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe